panhandlers, beggars, and gypsies. Dublin is a very nice place to live. In between the rain and the clouds, they do have a lot of sun breaks, which is, which is actually quite nice and gives you an opportunity to go outside and enjoy life outside in Dublin. However, this is a little difficult to do given that every corner you turn, there is literally someone asking for money. Ireland is a place where charity is big. People are big on charity. Now with that comes individuals who look to capitalize off of other people's charities. A various example would be, I live near a street called Camden Street, which is near a popular shopping area called Grafton Street in the city center. If I were to walk from my house, Camden Street to Grafton Street, I would pass anywhere from five to 10 people on the street, on the ground, asking for money. Sweatpants on, sleeping bag covering them, a cup hanging out of the sleeping bag, and that's all you see, okay? People do this out here for a profession. It is their job. That is what they get paid to do. They get paid to sit outside and ask for money. It's not like a lot of other places in the world where they do it to just try and pick up some extra cash for a drug habit. These are people who make their living off of doing this. They take the money back home to their families and their communities, and that's how the communities make money. They don't work. They sit on the, they sit on the ground and they ask for money. So you need to understand that when you come to Dublin. Okay? Then there's the other forms of people asking for money, like charities. There are probably dozens of charities that are located here within the city limits of, of Dublin. And it's very big for teenagers specifically that I've noticed to take buckets and go out into the main shopping areas and ask for money. This isn't bad because usually when they do this, they have some sort of offering to give you if you give them some change. Um, it seems to be a pretty noble cause. So they might give you a candy bar or something like that if you donate a euro or something like that. But then there's the other type of people who stand up and ask for money. Unlike the beggars on the street, unlike the kids who are doing these uh, the, doing it for charity cause, there are individuals who get paid to take charity, to take money for charities, okay? In my opinion, these people are salespeople, okay? They stand there on the street. Anytime that you pass them, they'll try and grab your attention so that they can give you a pitch so that you can donate to their charity. You usually see them wearing some sort of a vest. Now, the problem with this is, is like I said before, in my opinion, they don't really care about the charities they are just looking to get some sort of commission off of the charity or off of the money that you do donate to them. So with the mixture between the beggars on the street, okay, and we're not, we're not going to talk about people uh, panhandling or busking because those people are actually doing something to try, and, to try and get the money. Okay, They're playing music or they're selling artwork or something like that. But in between the people who are professional beggars, professionals who get the money from you, make it seem as if they're very poor, and then take it back to their families, in between the teenagers and the charities trying to get the money for their various charitable causes, and in between the individuals who are trying to ask you for money so that they can get commission off of the top of it, Ireland is a place where people are constantly asking you for money, and it's a way of life. People will sit underneath the ATM while you draw out your cash and ask you for money. If you are in the city center at nighttime and you're drawing out money from the ATM, you can pretty much expect there to be either a homeless person or a beggar or a gypsy or someone like that sitting underneath the cash register or sitting underneath the ATM asking you for money as you are take, reaching over the top of them to take your money out of the ATM. And I, I, haven't, I have yet to see a guard walk by or a policeman walk by and, and say, hey, this is, you can't do this. You can't be asking for people's money as they're pulling it out of the cash machine. It might make them feel uncomfortable. That never happens. So it's just something to be aware of. Dublin's a great place to go if you want to shop. Dublin's a great place to go if you want to enjoy the life outside. But understand you will get hassled by people asking you for change. Spare some change, man.